start in three, two, one. Hey guys, uh, this is the final video I'm posting here about the animated first person controller. Uh, they've got two versions again. One that I've uh, modified quite a bit, um, by, originally by Dita, and the second one, uh, SMN M H M D Y uh, version uh, from the forum. Um, so yeah, I've got those two again. Uh, I've fixed up the, the the problems I had with the that I that I thought I had with Dita's one. I fixed them up, and um, I just a few kind of very small tweaks of uh, the second one. Not that much really. Um, yeah, so so this will be the final video. I'll just show you. This is the um, Dita's one. So in other words, if you want one of them, just take what you like and use it and modify it to suit your own usage. Yeah, we do have crouching now. I just wanted to put an animation of crouch into it. Uh, so I push control and we have a crouch. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, on the top left, you can see the benefits, uh, the difference between the two ones. So uh, yes means yes. This one has mouse mouse speed adjustment. Uh, it also has mouth smoothing. It also has uh, walk acceleration. Uh, it, the animations are stronger than uh, the other one, and the animations are, you can work out a way to adjust the animations with this one, but it is tricky. You're going to have to spend a bit of time. I basically stopped doing that because it was just taking up too much time and I didn't really need it. Uh, this one is good but it's not quite as smooth as the second one so even though it's still pretty good so you can use both, check them both out. Um, in this one you notice the animations go left and right up and down whereas what I've ended up with for the second version is it's only uh, horizontal movement, there's no Sorry, there's a, it's only vertical movement. There's no uh, horizontal movement. So this one has has in a um, little bit, possibly a little bit uh, too much animation. You might argue. Um, you might better work out a way to tone that down a bit. But nonetheless, the both both uh, horizontal and vertical are available. Jump up. Um, now with the crouching. It only adjusts the height of the camera. It does not change the collision box. So if you had a little tiny side thing in the wall where you had to crouch down to get into, you probably still won't be able to, unfortunately, because the, the collision box is still the same height as it was before. Uh, I couldn't find any way to get around that. If anyone wants to have a play with that, that's up to them. It's cool. Um, so that's this one. That's done and dusted. Basically, uh, you can modify, uh, uh, change a few things as you like. The, if you want to try and change the animation amount, this target position will change it a little bit. Uh, we can move it forward and backwards. Um, and it is a little bit tricky, this one. You have to get it exactly right if you're going to use it. Um, so you've got... It starts off... Uh, starts off with the reset camera. Does it reset to the, the cursor? Goes to the main camera. And... Um, Basically, the reset has to be first, and they have to uh, both cameras visible um, for it to work. Now, this one I have made an adjustment. So I fixed up the. It used to have a the jump height was a bit wrong. It, it would hang up in the air a bit too long and look and uh, jitter and jitter as you would. Uh, it doesn't do that anymore. I fix that up. Yeah. So just it's just a straight up jump, and you can edit the, the height for that. Um, now also, when you're going left and right, see the, the mouse cursor, uh, I've changed it. You can argue whether it's better than before or not, it's up to you. But uh, what I've done is, when it comes to the far far left or far hand right of the screen, I just switch back to the reset camera for 20 milliseconds and, and switch back again. Uh, it does create a tiny bit of a flash, you know, uh, like that. See that, just then. And now, it's not too bad, not too bad. Uh, so arguably that's better than the way it was before with the auto turning or not. It's up to you. What do you want? But um, yeah, it's not too bad. At least it, it it'll always recenter the camera at least. Um, so if you go here, it'll stop, and then you have to keep just momentarily. It'll momentarily stop. That's all. Yeah, whether you like that or not. Um, hmm. Anyway. It's not that often that you're going to be going to the extremes all the time. Occasionally, it might be occasionally. 
Alright, so that basically is that one. So yeah, and also the vertical height has been adjusted. It's got a it's got a limitation of that as well. Um, so that's also been fixed up. Uh, so where are we? Back here. FPS controller. So you can see walk speed, walk acceleration speed, jump height, mouse movement speed, mouse smoothing, max vertical angle. Um, yep, and uh, animation speed. Now if you're running it. Mine is default 300 frames a second, the way the animation plays, because uh, of the way I've imported it. But if it was 30, you just change it to 30. Um, now the code on that one, uh, this one here, that's this is the one. Not a massive lot of changes, just a few things. It's got animations now, so yeah, you can crouch walk a little bit uh, walk run crouch stand it's got a, um, a va uh, yeah I don't think I've added any other controls into it just for now just those things so as long as your animations are named exactly that in that lower case crouch walk run stand um, then they will link up so you just gotta be careful with that um, yeah so that's pretty much for that one. Any questions posted in the forum? Now for the SMNDs one. Um, let's go open that one. All right, so that's this one. So as you can see, um, so in the top left of the screen, there's no mouse speed adjustment on this one. That's the uh, so what some had better than the others. This one is a bit smoother. You can notice. I don't know if you noticed it, but um, by the way, it's only WASD at the moment. Um, yeah, this one's the animations are smooth, not so uh, violent, um, if you like. Yeah, the actually animation of the play still moves pretty good, but uh, it doesn't affect the camera as much. Now. So you can see the, the walls, so it's a bit more modest animation, but that's not too bad, is it? And then running, it's not too bad, it's pretty good. Um, yeah. And it's a crouchy somewhere, there we go. We've got a crouch. If you want to crouch, back up. Yeah. I mean, theoretically, you could have just coded the crouch and go straight down, but it's using the forward movement of the player, a bit more realistic, I think. And back up again. Um, jump, yep, got jump, yeah, I think it needs to walk a bit faster this one, but anyway, um, yeah, so this one, this is the difference is on the top left you can see there's no mouse speed adjustment, uh, well, I've put no lim limited run and jump speed, well that was compared to the old one when it would, would actually hang in the air longer, but, but that didn't work quite right, so they're about exactly the same now. Uh, smoother movements, smoother yet mild animations, uh, smoother jumps, yeah, um, that number at the bottom, don't worry about that. Yeah, so that's pretty much the differences. Um, hmm. So yeah, if you have to have mouse speed adjustment, I guess the first one, uh, otherwise, hmm, I have a tendency to, to go with this one myself. Yeah. So you can see a bit of movement sideways, forwards. Yeah, yeah, it's not bad. So that's basically the sum of it. Um, and um, yeah, I only did some minor tweaks on this one, not very much. All right, yeah. So I think it had to do with the animations I was playing with a little bit. They're not really, you can't really modify the animations. Um, I couldn't get it. Well, I should do some mod other things by putting a target in front of the camera. Um, well, actually, it does have a target, and if you use that position compared to the normal default camera position, and then you could modify between the two, I guess. Um, but anyway, that's how that one is for now. And yeah, it's got your basic animations. Uh, as long as you're using, so you got space, jump, shift is run, control, crouch, and alternate keys available um, as well. Yeah, so the basic that's it. Um, yeah, so take if you want to use one, go for it. Um, 
this one just has the head and head tracker and that's it and then the camera and in that camera you've got your your, your default um, information I think I was trying to, to modify that animation it doesn't actually it's not used at all I'll just remove that um, yeah and then you've just got your uh, <coughs> names of the animation that you're using um, yeah so and then some keys so that's basically the sum of it um, take which one you like yeah okay cheers